guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys liked the little montage i had at the very beginning of the video um my husband and i went to atlanta about two weeks ago um he was in mind of getting a, uh, another 3d printer from micro computer in atlanta uh, we don't have anything like that in birmingham um but he had a, like a really good deal and um we kind of made a day out of it and he went to micro computer and then after that uh i went to um ikea and um, we had lunch or like dinner, whatever there. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, it wasn't the best kind of restaurant kind of meal um, that I was expecting, uh, but it was a lot of fun. Ikea is huge, it has so many different um, levels and has a lot to offer and stuff. And so we've got some great ideas uh, for when we're going to do some new things with the house and like our bedding and all the setup there. My husband got this really cool shelf um, from Ikea and, uh, he's installed it like this weekend and everything. And so he's had a lot of fun with that stuff. And I just got some candles. Um, so yeah, uh, we had a lot of fun in, um, Atlanta. Um, but now we're back home and I'm going to answer some questions for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So the question number one is what is your name? And my name is Amber Krista Pierce. Um, my dad named me Amber and the Krista part and Pierce is my married name. Um, my last name used to be Brock, um, but now it's Pierce and it's been that way since 18 years now. Um, but yeah, my dad liked the name Amber and I was named after, after a teacher slash astronaut, uh, Krista McAuliffe, um, that actually died in the Challenger mission. But so that is why I'm named Krista. Okay. So for the next question, uh, the next question is, where are you from? And I was born in St. Louis, Missouri. So I'm technically a true Midwesterner since I was born there. Uh, but I've been living in the South for ever since then. And I uh, lived in Georgia for a little while. And then I've stayed in Alabama um, for uh, just the rest of the remaining time. All right. The third question is, uh, how old are you? I am 22. No, I'm just kidding. I am 35 uh, at the moment. And I will turn 36 in just a couple of weeks um, on February, 12th, uh, February 27th. So yeah, I'm 30. Okay, so the next question is how many siblings do I have? And at the moment, I think this will stay this way. Uh, I have one sibling and she's my sister, Lindsay. Um, sometimes she makes appearances in my videos, sometimes she doesn't. I have a family that really doesn't like to be in videos. So that's why it's always me. And um, it's just kind of a private thing. Um, they just like to do their own thing, but they try to stay away from YouTube and I'm really the only one that likes to be on YouTube. So that's the story of that. Okay, so the next question is, would you get plastic surgery and what do you think about plastic surgery? Um, so far, I don't think I'd ever get plastic surgery. Um, I'm pretty content. Uh, I have some small little um, things I don't like, but um, Overall, I don't, I have never really thought about plastic surgery, but for people that do have plastic, get plastic surgery, that's completely up to them. And it's kind of a bit unrelated that I would have an opinion towards that since it's their own life and the, that's what they want to do. So that's what they want to do. All right. So the next question is, uh, tell us about your marriage and how long you've been married and all this kind of stuff. So I think I touched base on it a little bit at the beginning of the video, but I've married 18 years. Um, so I got married really young. Um, and then uh, around 21, I bought a house uh, with my husband and we've been living here ever since that. Um, but I'm pretty private when it comes to my marriage. I really don't believe in like airing your dirty laundry and telling everybody everything because it's really not their business anyways. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a pretty good marriage. Um, I just do my own thing and he does his. I think in the video you'll see that he likes computers a lot and 3D printing and stuff like that. So he stays in the basement and does his stuff and I stay up here and I do, <laughs> so we, I stay up here and I do my YouTube stuff and clean and cook and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're pretty boring. There's not a whole lot to tell, but uh, that's okay. pretty guys. So I've already lost count on what question I'm on. Um, so I'll do about three more. Um, what is the best thing about YouTube? The best thing about YouTube is you get to express yourself and see other people find it relatable to their own life where they learn something from your videos. And it's, it's in a small way, you feel very accomplished. Zoe, my cat's playing with this piece of paper. So, um, there's a lot of good things that come from YouTube, although it's very hard to get rich and famous. 
Um, when it first started out, the, there was just a very small majority of people that were doing YouTube and it was easier to get seen. Um, and it was just so new, nobody really knew what to take out of YouTube. All right, the next question is, what is the worst thing about YouTube? Um, I haven't really experienced a lot of bad feedback or anything yet. Um, I've been doing this for several years now. So the worst thing is doing a video that you're very passionate about and you feel like you've done a great job on and then just not really get noticed. And then something you'll spend five minutes on, um, all of a sudden will just be something that just blows up and everybody loves it. So it's kind of hard to tell what is going to appeal to people, especially when it's something you've worked on and you invested yourself in it and it just doesn't get noticed. All right guys, so I'll do two more questions. And the next one coming up is, which camera do you use to record videos? Okay, so right at the moment, um, I'm just using my iPhone. Uh, the quality of my iPhone was actually better than the camcorder that I had. Um, I sold that. Um, I'm hoping to use that money that I get from my camera uh, to get Final Cut Pro and try to see what I can do with a little bit more advanced software um, instead of just using iMovie and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just use my iPhone for right now. Okay, so for the last question, um, it is what advice would you give to new YouTubers? Um, the best advice I can give is just to keep on posting videos. Don't go a really long time without posting, um, because it's competitive and people will easily forget you. Um, so it's good to stay consistent and do what you love. Sometimes it's hard to get noticed, even if it's stuff you think it's great content. Uh, it just may not appeal to other people the same way that you may think it does for you. Um, but yeah, um, just stick with it and try to do the best you can in here.